start immediately because I've seen a comment there from Avril Butcher who says, please can I have a shout out? I've watched every vlog since you started and left loads of messages, but never had one. I'm 75 and love who you Who are all. you? Where? Avril Butcher. Avril yeah. Butcher, right. Avril Butcher, Avril Butcher with a sorry, with a sorry, with a sorry we haven't shouted you out, Avril Butcher. But you wish you'd never asked now, Avril, don't you? We went to the butchers yesterday, Avril. Um, I hope that was exactly as you were hoping for. I hope that was everything you dreamt it would be. I think she's never done that for me. So you're very lucky, Avril, that she's done that for you. Sean Alley says the weekends are too short, and I'm inclined to agree. Um... So, look, I can see here lots of you uh, chewing over the card about tier ones, tiers twos, tier threes. A number of you, Emily1965, wondering if Nanny Di is in our bubble. She is in our support bubble. She, she declared herself as part of the bubble. You can only be in a bubble if you are a, a member of a one-person household and you attach yourself to one of the households. So, yes, Nanny Di is in our bubble and she will be coming later in the week. Um, how are we all this morning? Sarah Clift, yes, you're, you're right there. Lots of people reflecting and considering whether we're... And he dies in our bubble, and she is in our bubble. Yes. Yeah. Salsa Trish having a first Are they Sunday roast about her being out on her own? and out today. Uh, Alice Bradley, morning. Can I have a shout out? Never had one. Shout out, Alice Bradley. Welcome. Oh my gosh, she's going to do this for everyone. Alice Bradley. Alice Bradley. Alice Bradley. Welcome, 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 Alice Bradley. Welcome. Make it clear Sorry, in your sorry, requests, guys. Maybe make shout it clear out. if you'd like just a verbal shout out <laughs> rather than an entire one. No, no, dance to be honest, the, the first one had a long one because she was 75. No, I know. I so I gave that. it out. Debbie Downs, special. shout out, please. Just it from your chair. Debbie Downs. Debbie Downs. Yeah. Debbie Downs. Faith Goodman. Hello, Mark and Andrew and everyone. Did you see Gove trying to persuade us and Andrew Marr that last month T and t t track and tracing was working and a success? <laughs> no, but, we didn't. We saw him yeah. on Sophie Ridge being very cross about the Andy Burnham. If for me, he is the Mr. Bean of government. He is the Mr. Bean of government. <laughs> Look, when he gets nervous or he's going to tell lies, he, he drinks, drinks water. water. <laughs> yeah. He wets his lips. Oh, God, he's... Yeah, he's um, you're allowed a bubble as long as you aren't at university, Sazzy19. Oh. I, I, that's a nuanced distinction. <laughs> um, Another confusing rule. Oh, someone there. It's, uh, Mark, we went to a great art exhibition in Birmingham at the Icon. The Icon Gallery is brilliant in Birmingham. It was called The End of Fun. It was very dystopian. You would love it. Oh, Monica oh, Smith. I would wow. love it. I would love it. Are we allowed to go to Birmingham? Uh, well, you're, I think you're allowed. I don't know, actually. I <laughs> we mean, don't I literally, know. Are we allowed to go anywhere? I mean, are I you think, allowed to I go think... from a tier two okay. to somewhere else? I don't know. You're not allowed to stay somewhere. It depends if it's a tier three. What's Birmingham in? Because that'd be a really tier good home ed uh, lesson for the girls, wouldn't it? That'd be a really good home education day what? out. To the Birmingham. To oh, the... going to Birmingham. It's a big trip for a small gallery. Is it very small? It's a small gallery. Oh, it's very small. massive, yeah. Oh. Um, I'm so confused with the rules, Chrissy. Lynn Aoki, morning peeps. Gabrielle, I'm having a sod it Sunday. Sod it Sunday. Tier two. Oh, Sunday. Just, so Birmingham's in the same as London. Tier two. So, oh, well, this go. is it. So what are you allowed to travel to similar tiers? So we're allowed to go to tier two. We're just not allowed to be with anyone else inside. Right. Hang on a minute. So this is what I don't understand. Can you meet friends in a gallery or at the cinema? Or is that a no-no? Someone tell me that. Are you allowed to meet friends in a gallery or a cinema or somewhere that isn't a pub or a restaurant? No, you're not. No, you're not. So we couldn't meet anyone else. So we could go. We can go as our own unit anywhere in the country. Right. I think you, what we couldn't right. do is if we were in tier two, we can't go and stay in a hotel in tier one anywhere. Could we, we go and stay in a hotel with tier three? Would you want to? No. That's the query. <laughs> Oh, my shitting Christ. <laughs> if I'm in tier one... OK, here's a question. OK, if oh, I'm, my I'm, God. I'm driving from tier three. Yeah. I need to pass through Wales to get to tier two. Am I allowed to stop for the loo in a tier one... If you're Dominic services Cummings. ...services in Wales? Not, not unless you're Dominic Cummings. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that one up. 
Um, or you Matt Hancock stopping for a late night glass of wine. Or as did anyone else see it? It's, it's in the Sunday show this, uh, t today. You'll see the photos of it. But Matt Hancock's dancing the funky chicken. Okay, have you not got the photo? To no, because I've well, so no, yeah, Matt Hancock dances the funky Thank chicken. Thank you for what that, Faith. I will tell Dina. What is the funky chicken this? What is the funky chicken? Do funky chicken. No, 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 no. This is what you've got to do for the chicken. This no. is the funky chicken. He's not doing the funky chicken. <laughs> He's not doing that business. I just had a text from Dina. Oh, she's so chuffed. Oh, my God. What a brilliant birthday present. Oh, she's got over 100 more new followers on her little business. Oh, brilliant. Art by Box. If you haven't followed her yet, can you follow her on um, at art.bybox? Oh. She would love that. Amelia Stanley. Guys, we've left you a DM about the project we're launching to help save the arts, and it would be so grateful if you could check it out. Can you go to Save the Arts Music Project on Instagram? So messages never come through to either me or Nadia. It is a major problem on Instagram. We have so many. Thousands come in, and they vaporise within seconds. So it's a really unreliable save way um, of, of getting through to us, unless arts. it's someone we follow, and obviously we don't follow too many, otherwise we wouldn't be able to cope with the, 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 the deluge. Um, but was it Save the Save the Arts Music Project on Instagram? Amelia, we will go directly to the, the handle and, and see from there. Save the Arts, Save the Arts Music Project. She found it? it so, okay, is. carry on. Yeah, I'll yeah, find got it. it, good. Um, is Toffee better, Sarah Elliot? It's an ongoing process. She had taken a dump in the other room, so we had to deal with that this morning. So she's not 100% fine, uh, but she's walking, which is good. And you will see in the vlog eventually just how she was really struggling, bless her. She's really struggling. Did you see the photo on my Instagram of her yesterday lying with her ear? She'd rested oh her my ear God, that photo. Over, the, over the armrest of the chair. That photo's everything. Uh, Anne Collard, no one is allowed to come into Wales from tiers two and three, I don't think. So if you wanted to go on a half term to somewhere, you can't stay in a hotel in a place that has a higher tier than you. In fact, I don't think you can stay in a hotel above tier two. You have to stay in private accommodation, so like a, a, a cottage or a villa or a private letting or something like that. Um, tier three allowed to go to work in car or public transport, yet more or less locked up at weekends. Adrena Bain. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Polly... Uh, 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 sorry, I just lost you, Polly. Polly123, funny story. I've just been at an outside circuits class. Well done you. The music stopped and I heard Mark's voice and then here. My phone connected to the speaker with a live I'd been watching. Really? Hi, everyone. Sorry if I interrupted your outdoor circuits class. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's really funny, Polly. Sorry about that. Uh, Sharona, I've sent something to Lucy and for you for Vlogmas. Oh, thank you, Sharona. Very kind. Marky, and this is Truly Old TV. I want to know how the organisation is going in your walk-in wardrobe. It's coming. Um, Tears for Fears, Mo Power. That was the title of one of our coffee mornings last week. Tears for Fears. Um, James Flanagan, hi Jacqueline Frost, Susie Othman, Grania Scarlet. So um, here's some news that Nadia might not like. I don't know what Nadia's up to. Sorry, she's got something in the oven. Um, she's got something in the oven. It, ha have a look at this piece, if I can find it, because the bloody news is updating so fast at the moment. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. I just want to find... Ah, Nadia, you need to be here for this. Right, I can't, I'm sorry. I'm having a bit of a drama. Okay, Sweden to start lockdowns as it has world's 12th highest COVID-19 death rate. Why did you hear that? That's because you've been running around saying Sweden like it's the calm panacea for, the, for everything. Health authorities in Sweden are poised to start introducing local lockdowns to stop a surge in new cases. Oh, no. It's claimed, although these will not be legally enforceable. That's like trying to clean yourself with a, no, in a shower with a towel. Sweden is debating bringing in local lockdowns in a bid to halt the spread. The number of cases has risen dramatically in the past fortnight in the country to a, a humongous 970 cases. Uh, the country's approach to the pandemic has been controversial, with most places staying open. I mean, people keep pointing to the Swedish model a lot. I also think there's a desire for, amongst a lot of countries, not because they want anything wrong to happen to Swedish people, of course, but I think there's a, lot of, there's a vested interest in it not going right in Sweden, yeah. because it will show up the sort of inefficiencies of other governments. So they're so, not changing, they're just tweaking. Yeah, they're tweaking. they're not demanding. Yeah. They're trusting their people. Yeah, that's they're Nadia, by the way. Information. They're yeah. trusting their people and they're saying it's rising again. Yeah. 
We need to take a few more restrictions. Yeah. Very different to the rest of the world. Uh, meanwhile, people are saying it's never too late to take a circuit breaker, whereas Michael Gove is saying it's always too late to take a cycle break. <gasps> to circuit breaker or not to circuit breaker? I feel there should be a new dance called the circuit Can breaker. Can just say yes, no to who thinks we should take a circuit breaker? I think, like the mashed potato, we should have a dance called the circuit breaker. Yes, no. Who would like a circuit breaker? Say All yes or no. Yes or no. Simple question. Yes or no. So many scientists are saying yes, so many scientists are saying no. I mean, you know, you can't turn to science. You can pick and choose the science you want to hear. Well, except they are all in agreement at that moment. Are they? Uh, it's totally down the middle. As many yeses as noes. 50-50. Wow. Absolutely 50. Hit the thumbs up, guys, if you're enjoying a little Sunday munch through the headlines and chat through the sort of news. Uh, it's a defo yes, it's a defo no, maybe. There's a lot of, it's, it's as many yeses and noes. It's as many yeses as noes. Clodagh Egan, if we in Ireland did what Sweden did, we'd have the virus forever. We can't trust most of the Irish to do the right thing. Yeah, I mean, I suppose what you're looking at is the different societies. The Swede, you know, the Swedish are, they have much more of a community sort of spirit. We have no community spirit in this country at the minute. And that's why we're going to be fighting it forever. New Zealand, I know Chelsea girl. Oh, my God. You're Watching them just yeah. hug and kiss yesterday yeah. as Jacinda got in for another three years. I was just like, I want to live in Sweden. Uh, New Zealand. Images of normality, you mean? Yeah, total normality. Yeah. Like, there's no virus at all. No, no. But again, I do always have to say they have a smaller population. It's infinitely more manageable. Um, and yeah, but they have taken a very different well, approach have, to they it. They have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact that they closed their borders, I still think we should close. We're an island, and I think we should. I think we shouldn't be travelling. Well, because I mean, we keep reseeding it go, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy Letitia, I've been a member for two months and would love a shout out. Lucy Letitia. Lucy Letitia. Lucy Letitia. Welcome as a family guest. Martin Smith, it's all down to the trust of the people. Now, the vast majority of people in the news and in the papers that we're reading where they do surveys and how reliable are these surveys yeah. are saying that the vast majority of people are not going to observe tier one, two or three regulations. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, this is everywhere, isn't it? The vast majority of people are simply not going to observe the regs. They say that countries that have succeeded have have kept a fairly steady um, set of rules and regulations so that it doesn't feel like a knee-jerk response the whole time. You know, and the commitment to business over a whole year so businesses know where they are and know how to plan. And it's a shit show here, it really is. Can I tell you why I think that? That's why they've lost the trust of people. I think the reason it's never gonna, we're never gonna get a grip on it in the way that many of these other countries we point to is both a combination of size mm -hmm. of population and country uh, and size of the economy, therefore imports, exports, and reliance on export, and, and size of tourism, because, you know, these countries, New Zealand also has a very, very strict immigration policy and all that kind of stuff. The other reason is, we here and in America are the sort of top, m most sort of extreme examples of capitalism personified. Mm. We are consumers en masse of everything we love to consume. And I think, unfortunately, we are ref what we're experiencing in this country in America is a refusal to give up our luxuries. And I mean luxuries at the lowest end of the luxury phrase there. You know, we, are, we still so, want to go on holiday. We still want to be able to eat what we want. We still want to do what we want. And when we see other people getting something better than us, you're right, we don't pull together. There's a tendency, not with everyone, but there's an often a tendency to go, oh, I want what they've got. I want the same rules as they've got. Whereas, you know, so I think a lot of these other countries like China, I mean, China, a city in China went into, they, they had an outbreak of 12. I said this last week. Yeah. And within minutes, the Chinese within authorities five days, was testing tested, all 9 million residents. They tested 9 million people in five days. They, and so they, and we, Unbelievable. the trade-off here is we don't want to live in a culture, understandably, that's that strict and regimented. But there's a trade-off here. So maybe we will have to. There's a trade-off. There thing. has to be a trade-off. So I either we're willing such, to, you know, do that. I such a sad one. story. I feel so sorry for the Americans. I mean, Lynn Aoki just said there, you know, Trump is moving around the country, create, you know, creating these super spreading events, utter moron. And yesterday I watched um, a, an interview, a little film on CNN, and this man had lost seven members of oh, his I, family. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. And his business. Mm. 
in like one within weeks. Mm. You know, when it wants to be, this is one nasty mm. fucking virus. And Emma, Emma Carter, you're right. I think we are the laughing stock to the rest of the world. We We're are. the laughing stock because when you watch the news in other yeah. countries, we are clubbed together with America mm. as fucking it up. Because so annoying. even, I mean, we've talked a lot about how for different sections of the of society, you know, the pressure of this lockdown and this crisis is different for the young. It's different. We, I talked to, on one of my Instagram posts a lot about Nanny Di. It's very specific, different challenges for different yeah. generations. Your poor mum and dad are very sort of, you know, down because T Teddy had just had his heart operation. He was looking forward to a re renaissance and all this kind of stuff. There's many things impacting different generations. But one of the things that seems to be a truism is that we just, we can't, we don't want to give up so many other things. It's like we have to, we do have to be stricter. And I think we have to be, and the reason we're being laughed at by the rest of the world is that we are unable to uniformly pull into line. We haven't got a cohesive plan. We've got little, we've got all these separate people deciding on what they want to do. I mean, it's, we just, we are, we are broken, I think, at the moment. Yeah. We, do, we do need a cohesive plan, We're whatever it is, whatever it is, with so a long-term yeah. plan of actually what's going to happen. I think we're Whether that's herd asunder. immunity, whatever it is, but just these week to week with nobody knowing what's going to happen has mm. made the government a laughing stock. Mm. And that's why so many people are saying that they're not going to, you know, stick to the stick rules. To the rules. Dylan Anderson, can my grand get a shout out? My grand's called Josephine Anderson. Oh, of course, Josephine hello, Josephine Anderson. 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 We Anderson. love Anderson. a granny. Yeah, we love, love grannies. We, we love want nannies. more grannies we watching want more YouTube. Grannies. <laughs> yeah. Um, Claire Yardley Coco. Sadly, I think you're right, Mark. Individual individualism versus society needs. Mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, I mean, the thing is, it's at times like now that you just have to take painstaking examination of yourself. It's like when you go into rehab or recovery or something like that, the only way you're going to get better is if you're willing to do a sort of what they call a fearless inventory of all the mistakes you've made, all of the habits that you formed, all of the selfishnesses you're engaged in, and all of, also all of the reasons why you are making the mistakes that you're making that are upsetting or hurting people and yourself. And I think socially, this is an opportunity to do that. I think this does gift us an opportunity to examine and re-examine and re-explore how we do things and why we do things. But it does, uh, you know, I think the idea that after, what has it been, seven months? March, April, mm -hmm. May, June, July, August, September, seven months. Seven months when you're thinking of a week is a long time. But seven months when you're thinking about trying to combat something that completely is re-changing and reconfiguring society is a microscopic amount of time. Mm really you know and i think sometimes it's hard to, to remind ourselves of that and i'm saying this having had a really difficult week just, i've got the streaming ab jabs as minan would say mm -hmm. just want to get out and get out and do stuff but i'll tell you what i'm looking forward to i want michael gove to wear boxing gloves and shorts i want him to oil himself up like he does his lips when he drinks water and i want him to take on andy burnham and i want to see if andy burnham knocks him out because mancunians are, are tough fighters yeah do you know that have you ever go on andy yeah, come on andy but anyway Let's move on to something a little lighter. Melanie Sykes. Melanie Sykes. <laughs> snogging a gondola. Did she snog? I love this story. I thought the headline was she snogged his gondoliers. No. Well, it probably was, actually. I probably missed that headline. That's dirty. No, but anyway, so in the papers, apparently she's 50, Melanie Sykes, 50, has gone off to Venice for a five-day break. And, as, and they, they've got some pap shots of her snogging the face off a, gond a gondolier. Did you believe a 23-year-old gondolier. Did you believe it? Did you think it was a photo? Set up. No. She's all, she genuinely gone for his gondoliers. I don't know. Would you? Did you have you ever snogged a gondolier? No. Do you know what gondoliers? Mark, you're doing Richard Maitley. <laughs> so if you could see yourself in the screen there. No, can I just say sure, I had Richard Maitley. I had a huge that. crush on Melanie Sykes when she did the Boddington's advert. That was the one where she was in the middle of the desert and she'd arrive at a truck and she'd get given a Boddington's advert, an ice cream truck. Is that right? She did gorgeous. My God, she and was bigger. gorgeous. Bigger. Yeah. Jennifer. I love Richard, but I don't want to be married to Richard. Susie Othman, did you watch Strictly last night? No. All I saw was a, a shot of um, the judges with about eight miles between each of them. It was like you needed the widest angled shot and the biggest hanger to shoot it in. We were just doing, we were just filming all the headlines for the No Name Sunday show. And just, just to, I digress a bit, but guess what they're saying is going to be the top Christmas present this year for kids? Oh, yeah. It's a doll with a mask on 
singing a wash your hands. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in the Sunday show. Song. Come over there and you'll see. We've got photos of it and everything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Photos of it. ridiculous. What do you think of that, guys? Here's the question. So we're, we're, we're entering that moment where we're in the gully heading towards Christmas, right? And every year they usually do that thing of the top most wanted toy of the year. What was your top Christmas toy? What was your top What, that Christmas I wanted story? that I never got? Yeah. I always wanted a little television, a little portable television. Oh, what, one of those little I wanted one on. so badly. And, and you'd go into... And my mum and dad were very... You know, we had lovely Christmases. I loved our yeah. Christmases. But, you know, we did not get spoiled at all. Top present was a Monopoly. Right. You know, that would be your last big present yeah, 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 that yeah. you'd save to open. Right. And you'd go into school and everyone... It felt like everyone else had got a television. Right. And then one year I lied that I'd got a television as well and then I couldn't have anyone over to my house for ages. Oh, that's so funny. And so, and so then I had to decide that I'd given away my my television to my nan because my nan didn't have a television because I was really sick of not having my friends around. Oh. I know. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, mine was an evil Knievel, wind it up, fire oh, him off. Those. I bought you one. Yeah, yeah, one, she did. She bought me one, one, yeah, and it's in there. It's just I, an evil Knievel. I always, I mean, I've talked about this many times. I always just wanted my own set of stormtroopers because William Dibley had six. I had one with a broken arm. Did you know Star Wars came out in 1976 in America? Is it 1976? Yeah, and then 1977 in the UK. Um, baby Annabelle, Mr. Frosty, Alison Bennett. Do you remember Mr. Frosty? Never got one, so I bought it for my kids and it was the crappiest present they got that year. It wouldn't even crush the ice. Oh, Mr. Frosty Ice Crusher. I remember that. My best was a chemistry set. I remember the chemistry set. You all right there? Yeah, I just think I've done something wrong. I remember a chemistry set and I remember oh, I using, I remember set. pouring stuff onto the carpet by accident in the flat we were in and burning a hole through the carpet. Soda Stream. Someone was suggesting we get Jane Bentley. Was it you? Suggested oh, we yeah. get one for um, Who's got Nanny Dye, yes. so she can fill yes. her water. That's such a good That's idea. Such a good idea. Bobby we Ward, Kaplunk. That. Do you remember Kaplunk? Is that the one where you pull the sort of put that on my sharp list. things through the thing, and the marbles come falling? The Polly Pocket. I used to. I used to love buying Izzy. The mini, do you remember Disney used to do those things that would open up like little micro worlds and they had like Polly Pocket. Oh, I little, love them. Little mini, mini mang mice. Polly Pockets, Polly Pockets. So whenever they got something that was good and it was collectible, they'd stop it. It was so annoying. Mousetrap, Susie Othman. Do you remember Mousetrap? And there'd be the rattling oh, of the mousetrap. Oh, I love the mousetrap. Jump out of your we skin. bought one one year for the kids, didn't we? And it never really worked. And it was a nightmare. The boot and we, would never quite hit the boot. And it Mark spent bucket. all day, Christmas Day, trying to put it. it together. I've never seen it. Oh, they're not cheap, are they, Soda Streams? £100. Hungry hippos, where you slam it like mad and it eats up all the... Yeah. Apparently Hamley's isn't doing very well this year because Regent Street is so close. But again, we're talking about Of course it isn't doing show. well. A Tippy Tumbles dog. Do Maybe we should do that as Vlogmas or put a walk around. Um, yeah. Sp what would you like us to do? Spirograph. Spirograph. I used to love that. You know what? The what? What's that one though? Where the, we did the That's Etch-a-Sketch. Etch-a-Sketch. Loved like, an Etch-a-Sketch. But my only problem with Spirograph was it was always fun because you put your pins in, wouldn't you? And you would do the thing and you go round and round and round. And I remember there being a moment when I was about, I don't know, eight. And I went... I'm not really doing this, though. This is doing it. I'm not creating the pattern here. This is doing it. Oh, God. And I, and I always I, overthinking. And I became so depressed. Operation! Operation! Yvonne Ashford! We've got one of those. We played it a few weeks ago, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Pippa Dolls. I bought a new one a few weeks ago because I just wanted to play Operation again. Scale Extrix. I always wanted Scale Extrix. And then I got a second-hand one and it never worked. And they, every time it would go round the bend, it would just fly off the top. So disappointing. You had the things, it was so good. You'd make it, you'd click it together, you'd have the figure of eight, and then you'd see the sparks as it went exactly. round. Exactly, an intellectual it's... approach to spirographs. Yeah, spi an existential <laughs> approach to spirograph. <laughs> I wanted scale extras, but meant for boys. Oh, we collie Doug, you could have come around my gaff. Meccano! Now, whatever happened to Meccano? Meccano was good. I remember trying to get some when Kiki, Kiki was like very engineeringly wise. But they've, they've made these things like Meccano and Lego, they've made them so thematic now that you can't just build whatever you want with them. Fuzzy felt. Someone Hello, just Rashinda, said... Can my dad get a work, get well soon? Shut up, please. He's recovering from a blog club. Oh, oh. of course, Rashida. Oh, oh Rashida. Sending, Rashida's dad. Rashida's dad, get well soon. Sending all of our get well soon feelings. Hmm. Um, someone just mentioned uh, Stylophone. Loved a stylophone. Lego, but Lego was good. I remember the days Snakes when I'd sit ladders. down with my granddad and he would tip out all these bits that were so boring. 
And then he'd say, we're going to build a house. And we'd actually build a house. And it was really exciting. But now they're... You know, it you, comes you get as themes. a kid. It comes as a theme. And you Sarah Robinson says, my son loved, live, loved biker mice from Mars. I don't know those. It's literally like you're talking a different language. That sounds good. Till you Guess went... who? Carrie Doherty. Oh, God. We played that millions Maddie of times in the girls. Maddie loved that game. Oh, my Stickle God. Stickle bricks. Maybe, you know what we should do? Maybe it's Christmas. Why don't we get all those old-fashioned games they used to like playing with the kids, like Guess Who and all that? Do you remember that? Stickle bricks? Yeah. You'd literally... I was, it You'd was magic. Them. It was magic. They would literally stick together. I used to have an action man doll, Cluedo. which you could see through his eyes. <clears throat> yes, Jackie, well, you know, Cluedo. What did you think of boys' action men? Were you always looking to get I would action immediately men? take their trousers off to look at their penis. Always. That's what you did with me. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Uh, yeah, always. It's funny, because when right, I was a kid, I always We used to go around to my mum's friends' houses, and they had sons. Yeah. And we did, we'd look for the action men and go, I wonder if this one's going to have a penis, and we'd take their trousers off. What would you have done if it had flopped out? Mark! <laughs> Always disgusting. Now, Judy G, Play-Doh, which I just wanted to eat. Didn't you just love the smell of it? It was like so flavoursome. It was so flavoursome. Uh, Barbie, I mean, I must admit, I did what Nadia did with Barbies. It was always disappointing when you got down there, all you ever found was the word Barbie written across <laughs> the, the pants. Shrinky Dinks. Oh, Shrinky Dinks. What are Shrinky know. Dinks? I remember Shrinky Dinks. A Rubik's Cube, Kerry Gracie. Oh, my God. And then a friend of mine showed me how you break them open, reconstruct them, and then it looks like you've done it. That was always fun. Oh, you used to, Sky Elise, you used to circle the items in an Argos catalogue that you liked. Oh, I Yes, I remember that. I remember that. Mind you, me and all my friends used to always go to the laundry section and slap it loads with, you know, that's ours, that's ours, that's ours. Would you do that? You'd, you'd turn the page and you'd go, mine. Mine, and you get really like for some reason you thought it was yours. If so you're I like, remember that. do you remember that? You turn the page, go, Mine, did you ever do that? So you'd be like, Open it, you'd be opening, you go, Mine, mine, no, that's mine, mine, no, that's mine. I got it first, that's mine, mine, it's ridiculous. Nick, Nicholas Sinner, I used to love the proper, what was the make of the little metal cars? I mean, I had a proper box full of different cars. I, used, I mean, the amount of play one would do with my cars. What was the make of them? Something Hot Wheels, was it, or something? Buckaroo, Sarah Kempson. I was by Biker Mice. Biker Mice. But do you remember Buckaroo? That sounds like something you'd like, Mark. Yeah. Do you remember Buckaroo? Matchbox. Thank you, Salsa Trish. Matchbox. Matchbox. Matchbox cars. Do you remember Buckaroo? Buckaroo, I swear, gave Izzy anxiety at a young age. Because you oh, played the game. Oh, would jump out and you'd make you jump out of your oh, skin. It'd give you a heart attack, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it give you a heart attack? Oh, um, it really would. Game of Life, Nadia hated that. I loved Game of Life because it was all, it sort of prepared you for pensions and things like that. Uh, Mr. Potato Head. I love Mr. Potato Head. I've got to go down the shop now. Oh, all right, see you then. I had a Merlin. What was a Merlin? Operation Matchbox Toys. I love you guys. Fuzzy felt was so good. Potatoes. Hit the thumbs up icon if you'd like her to stay. It's 12 o'clock. Oh, yes, yeah, so it is. Sorry, I've got to <laughs> go and finish the Sunday show. News. So, guys, please hit the subscribe button yep. if you're new to the channel because you'll miss out on all the stuff that we do. And if you'd like to join our family guest area where we've got the No Name Sunday show going up today, and I make, well, you'll see. Um, we, also do little... we also do members' lives there, and we're going to start to read out members' comments. We're doing an extra, um, yeah, we're going to be doing an extra thing on the family guest area, mm. which will be a whole show of us just reading comments. Mm. So just click the join box underneath if you want to have a look. Yeah. See what you get there. And there's right. 42 No Name Sunday shows to watch. Well, 41 today. after today. 41 after today. After today. I always yeah. get it wrong. It's like she it it said, said, I've been 16 years sober for the last... 15 years, and I will be on the, October the 28th so this year, 16, 16 years. years sober. So there you go, 16 years sober. But because she said 16 so many times, I feel like there's no fucking achievement. All right, guys, lots of love. Have a lovely day. Sunday show landing, hopefully in the next four or five hours. Half of it's already edited, so we're ahead there. I hope you're all well. I loved our little tour down memory lane with the... I want to do 